This video explains how to obtain apnea level readings. The two fundamental factors that have to be taken into consideration when reading the apnea level are the rod with a reference mark and the observer. Remember to mark the height of the observer's eye on the telescopic levering rod. Look through the apnea level's eyepiece in the direction of the telescopic levering rod. Apnea level points. Level. Tube. Eyepiece. Clamp. Graduated arc. Degree scale. Minute scale. The values on the left side of the zero in the degree scale are negative. The numbers on the right side of the zero are positive. Once you learn the parts of the atom level, it is time to start using it. Look through the eyepiece in the direction of the telescopic leveling rod. Once you do this, you will see a horizontal line and most probably a bubble. If you do not see a bubble, move the clamp forwards or backwards until you see it. After this, your mission is simple. Align the horizontal line with the reference mark. Once this is done, move the bubble until it is located in the center of the line and the mark. Once this is achieved, stop touching the clamp and your reading will be complete. Reading the atom level. Determining the degrees. Without moving the clamp, observe the graduated arc and look for where the zero line in the minute scale is located in the degree scale. This line will indicate the degrees of your reading. If the zero line coincides exactly with any line in the degree scale, this is your reading. It will not have minutes. If the zero line ends up between two lines, the assigned value will be the previous degree. For example, if it is located between 2 and 3 degrees, the measurement will be of 2 degrees with the corresponding minutes. Remember that every line in this scale has the value of 1 degree, and this is the measurement that decides the sign of the reading. Determining the minutes. Once you have recorded degrees, and without moving the clamp, you will then move on to use the minute scale. Each line in this scale represents 10 minutes. If you use the values to the right of the zero in the degree scale, then you will use the values to the right of the zero in the minute scale. You will search for which line in the minute scale coincides perfectly with a line in the degree scale. Once you have this alignment, proceed to read the measurement in the minute scale. You cannot have a reading with 60 minutes, since 60 minutes is equal to one degree. If this is the measurement you observe, verify your reading of the degree scale. Record the measurements in a data sheet. Afterwards, enter the data in profile. This program is available in Puerto Rico Sea Grants Sandwich blog. Suggestions for getting a good reading. Try to use the same person as the observer as often as possible. This will give your results consistency. Reading the acne level can be difficult due to the small size of the numbers. To avoid difficulties, use the magnifying glass included in the materials pack. Consult any questionable measurements with your partners and work together to reach a consensus. You could also take pictures and use a computer to better view and write down the measurements.